Hello, my beautiful people. You're welcome back to the channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. So today we'll be making this wrap top or wrap gown. Okay, so it's a gown, but we'll be laying a first this at the top. This is off shoulder wrap top or off shoulder wrap gown depending on what you want to make so i made gown with mine and for me it's a maternity gown but anybody can actually wear this okay so i say a very big welcome to you and if you're new to this channel please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so whenever i um, upload a new video you'll be among those that be notified okay and don't forget to give this video a like so let's get started so to get started I will first of all draft on my paper so that it will be clear, okay? Because I don't want to draft so much chalk. I don't want to um, know maximum chalk on the fabric. So I'll just keep the fabric aside and we'll draft on our paper before we transfer to the fabric. So we are making a wrap top, okay? Off shoulder wrap top. Though it is a gown, but we are concentrating more on the upper part. So it is off shoulder wrap top. Now, what we'll do is this. I've thought on this channel, you know, different ways of making off shoulder. You can ask, you can go ahead to draft your complete basic bodies. Then you cut out the parts you want to cut out for your off shoulder. That is, you take your shoulder off. But um, you can also use the second method, which is going ahead to draft directly. That is to, to draft your off shoulder straight ahead. And that is what we'll be doing here. So I'll be leaving the link to the other method of cutting off shoulder, which is, you know, you draft your complete basic body. They take away the depth you want for your neckline. So I just hope you are following. Now, the depth I want for this off shoulder is 5.5 5 inches. Okay. Yes, 5.5 .5 inches is okay. So the depth of your off shoulder depends on you. Okay, it's a matter of choice. You can take from four inches to five to six, depending on how low or how high you want it to be. Now, I would go ahead to mark. So we are taking off the shoulder. That is why you can see that my tape is away from the paper. So I pl I'm placing my I'm placing my tape from that for um, five point five on the paper. So this is our neckline. The starting of this paper is our neckline. And that is why I'm placing my tape at this 5.5, taking off the shoulder, okay? So now, we'll place the vertical measurements. So from this 5.5, the armhole depth is our first of all place. So the armhole depth is um, 8 inches, okay? So that is 8 inches. Then the boss point is 10.5, the under boss is 14, and the waist is 16, okay? But I'll add half inch for joining, or I'll use one inch. So it depends on what you want, I'll, because I'll be joining the lower part to the upper part to complete it um, a full gown, okay? So I'll use 6.5, I mean, I will add just half inch, 16.5 is the waist. Here, we don't need the um we don't need the under boss i just marked it but what i actually need here is the boss point that is the um armhole depth point the boss point and the waist where we'll be joining the lower part to complete it as gown okay so this marks that i've made just want to repeat them here so that i would you know mark a straight line so don't forget you are taking off the shoulder so this is the armhole depth, the boss, and the waist, plus the half inch for joining, okay? So I'll just connect this. So before we continue, I want you to know that what we are actually drafting here now is the back. So we're going to first of all cut the back before we cut the front, okay? So when you have done this, so remember that this is your short, this is your armhole line. This is the boss point and this is the waist, okay? Yes, yeah, so what we'll do now, we'll place our shoulder. So the shoulder measurement divided by two. So in this case, the shoulder divided by two is 7.5 because the shoulder is 15 inches. So it's seven. So the shoulder divided by two is 7.5. Here it is, okay? So this is where we'll draw our armhole from. 
So don't forget your basic bodies. Okay. So this is where we we'll draw our armhole from. So you can still mark it here so that you will just connect. Normally, if you're making a basic body, this is where we would have marked our arm hole. Okay. Then for the neckline, or let's create our armhole curve first of all. For the armhole curve, on this point now, on this armhole line, which is also known as the upper bust line, if you if you if you know your basic bodies, you know that this is the upper bust line and this is the bust line. Okay, so at this point, you are going to place your bust circumference divided by four. So the bust circumference divided by four is what you are going to place here. So in this case, it is nine point five. So mark it. So this is it. We've not added any allowance yet. So when you have done this, you're supposed to connect your arm hole. But we're not connecting it now because we're going to connect it to the neck line. Okay. Yeah, normally, let me just use another marker. So normally, this would have been our arm hole if we're drafting the basic bodies. This would have been where we would have our armhole going up. Okay, so this is 5.5. Uh, you would have seen, it would have gone up like this. It would have gone up like this, okay? So that's I used um, another color of marker because this is not going to be our um, actual armhole where we are done because the normal armhole for the off shoulder will be connected to the neck line. So now we we'll determine our neck width. So for off shoulder, what I usually use for the neck width is our bust pan measurements. That is the, the nipple to nipple divided by two. Then I add one inch to it. For example, if your nipple to nipple is eight inches divided by two, you get four inches, right? So that four inches, you add one inch to read, that will give you five. So that is what I usually use. So, but sometimes you can actually measure on your body from one point to the other, how you want your neck to be. That's how wide you want it to be. So here I'm using five inches. So that very five inches is what I'll mark here. So I just hope this is clear to you. So let me take that again. In case like we're going to add a dart, normally we would have marked our bust pan, which is from one nipple to the other. So the, the bust pan for the measurement I'm using is four inches. That is for one nipple to the other is eight inches. Divide by two. That gave us four inches. So this four inches, I'll add one inch to it. That is what I'll use for my neckline. So we are assuming that our fabric or paper is on fold. Okay. So we are working on a folded fabric or folded paper that is what we are assuming so the neckline here is five so that when you open it up it is it will be 10 inches from one point of the neckline to the other will be 10 inches that is for off shoulder for this very measurement okay good so this is our neck width so this neck width now we're going to add half inch to this because we are adding sleeve to this so that half inch will be to join the sleeve to the bodies okay so add half inch for joining our sleeve so this is it so now we are going to connect this to the arm hole so that will give us our off shoulder arm hole so we're going to make a slight curve not too curvy and not straight okay so the arm hole curve i mean the off shoulder curve is not too curvy and it's not so straight so like this is just okay. So this is our main arm hole curve for the off shoulder. Okay. So when you have done this now, you place your bust circumference and you place your waist circumference or depending on where your top is getting to, you just place your um, round measurement. Okay. So for the bust circumference, we already have it here. So it goes straight. Now for the under, I mean for the waist. We don't need the under boss here. We need the waist. So the waist circumference is 36. Divide by 4 is 9 inches. Okay. So 9 inches. So I'm not adding that to this um, top. So if you want to add that, you create your that and you add your allowance for that. So this is just what we have and I'll connect it.
so this is just it then i'll add my seam allowance okay so one inch is just okay for my seam allowance one inch make sure i'm not using lining here i'm not using lining here but if you're using if you're going to use lining you're just going to add your allowance for stitching in the lining so this is actually what we need okay so i'll go ahead and cut it off so this is our back okay so this is the back panel and when cutting on your fabric you have to place your fabric on food before cutting this so we're going to use this to cut the front so now let's cut the front okay so for the front remember it's an overlap so the front would be like um, two times what to have for the back what do i mean by that first of all measure what you have here okay measure what you have here so here i have about 10.5 inches okay so i'm just going to measure that 10.5 inches and i'll mark it so this 10.5 inches i'll mark it then i'll just draw a line there make sure you measure correctly now by the time you have measured you know what you have here you will now place your back from this line okay you're placing your back from this line now you place your back and you go ahead and cut so note this armhole depth. Yes, just take note of that. So I'll just go ahead and cut what I have here. Let me just trace it out. So I want to first of all trace it out so it will be clearer to you. So you can actually do this on your fabric so i'm using paper because i am teaching so i don't want to drop so much mark on the fabric okay so this is what we we'll have here this is our back panel and we added extra inches here which is exactly the measurement we we'll have here so that it can overlap very well so we need this for the front and this is just one part of the front we are about to cut okay so extend this line just extend this line you can measure what you have here so that you know where to mark extend the line you can see this so simply extend your line okay then remember i told you to note the armhole depth which is this okay so we want to use it to cover out our neckline so you can actually go beyond that you can go above that depending on how deep you want the front neck line to be okay so for me it is okay on this side so you can go below that depending on how open you want it to be like i said sometimes when you have over laptop you can see where something inside like camisa or you know something like that but if you want to wear it without anything just at uh, this armhole area is okay for you so this is the point here so from this point i would mark up to this point so just hope this is clear to you connect it this way okay so this is for our front neckline remember what we have for the back the back is straight but for the front since it's an overlap we want to achieve that v um shape there okay then at this line you can come up by two inches or 2.5 so i'll be using two inches so by the time I now join 
the lower part with half inch i'll be left with 1.5 inch here okay so by the time you have stepped up by two inches you now connect it to this point so you can actually connect it straight to your to the neck width so you can connect it straight to the neck width and you can connect it to this to this point depending on how open you want it to be okay so if i connect it straight to the neck width i would be going deeper okay i'll be going deeper so let me just connect it to this point that i have already made here then i would you know smoothing it out so this is it okay so i'll just smoothing out this area so it to not be sharp so this is it for our front and i hope you can see this let me just place it like this so that i can see the shape that we have there so this is it for our front so like i said it's an overlap so you need to have half of what you have half of the bodies here and that would what that this is what would overlap inside okay so now we'll go ahead and cut this and this is our front so when cutting on our fabric we need two pieces of this and for the back we we'll place our back on fold and we'll cut one piece okay so let's do just that so this is the back and this is the front okay so this is what we have so now let's cut on our fabric so this is the back now my fabric is on fold so i'll go ahead and cut okay i'll add the little allowance at the neckline for folding the neckline or you know i'm um, doing whatever i want to do at the neckline so i'm just going to add half inch for folding it So this is what we have for the back. So remember it's on fold. And this is the folded side, okay? Because this is our center back. So keep it aside and we'll cut the front. So I'm done cutting the back and the front. So I also added half inch for the front neckline area, okay? So we have two pieces for the front and we have one piece for the back. So, so this is our front, okay? So right now we'll open it up like this. This is how it would overlap. Okay, so you can see the neck line. Okay, then for the back, this is the back. Okay, so I'll place it this way. So you can see that they both align at the lower part. So that is how it should be when you cut it exactly how I showed you. So now this is what we are going to do. I'm going to go ahead and stitch it but before that i'll work on my neckline and after working on my neckline which is just to fold it that is just to hem it i'll hem this one hem the other one and hem the neck the back neckline as well then this is what i, I will do i would remove this smaller side this smaller side i will remove it and that is the two smaller sides of the front i will remove them like this then I will join this side. Okay, I will join this side and I will join this other side, leaving this side open. So I hope this is clear. Leaving this side open, I will join the two sides and this side as well. So later on, I will show you how we are going to overlap it. We are going to have a rope going over it. Okay, so when I will first of all finish stitching it before I would now open up where I want my rope to be so that I'll know which side I will be wrapping it. Okay, so first of all, go ahead and finish up the neckline and stitch up this side, and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've gone ahead to stitch. So this is all we have. Okay, I've sewn down the neckline, then I stitched the sides like I explained. You can see what we have here. So while I was stitching, I left a little opening on this side because I checked it and I saw that this is how I would be lapping it, okay, like this. So I would fix a rope here that would come out from this opening here. 
So the rope will come out from the opening here. Why there'll be another rope here to tie it at the back or anyhow you want to tie it okay so this is what we have so now we we'll move over to cutting the sleeve so i left um like half inch on this side for joining the sleeve okay so i hope you understand while i was teaching it i left a little bit like i left half inch from the top here so that i can use it to join my sleeve so now for the sleeve it is a puff sleeve okay off shoulder puff so I have cut out the fabric that I need for my sleeve. So this is what I need for my sleeve. I have two pieces here and the measurement I have here is the off shoulder times three. Okay, though I took away 5.5 but what I have here is five times three. That is not really five because at the front we have five at the back it should be five two that is ten so i hope you understand let me explain it very well for our sleeve this is what we'll do i minus 5.5 inches so this should be like the shoulder okay i know this is supposed to go from the front to the back so by the time you fold it you'll be having 11 inches okay like this but for me i'm using 10 because i don't want the the off shoulder to come too low so i'm using 10 inches and this 10 inches i multiplied it by 3 that is 10 times 3 30 so what i have here is 30 inches because it's going to be a puff sleeve so by the time i you know put elastic to it it will bring it together so that's why i use three times the measurement i took off from the off shoulder okay so now i'll place it on fold i have two pieces of it for the two sides so i'll just place the fabric on fold like this and on this open side i would place the armhole of my top so the back that is the wrong side where i have stitched you have to open it so i can get everything so by the time you open it, just place it, okay? Simply place your armhole on the piece, this open side of it. Then you cut, okay? So just place it this way. And you go ahead and cut it. So let me mark it so that you see what we have there. So you can see what we have here. So this is our off shoulder sleeve, okay? So go ahead and cut it out. So now I would, so this is the top of the sleeve and this is the lower part. So I'll create my channel for elastic because it is um, a balloon sleeve. So we're going to insert elastic at the top and at the lower part. So what I'll do is just fold by about one inch so the measurement i have here is the length my desired length so the desired length is actually eight inches but i added two inches more for folding it for creating the ch um, channel for the elastic to pass so i'll go ahead and fold okay just fold it in such a way that my elastic can pass through i'll do same for the upper parts and for the lower part okay then we'll join it to the body so let me do just that and to we'll proceed to making the lower side okay so i have stitched the upper part creating the channel for my elastic okay so one more thing you need to note is that um i you know after stitching it the armhole reduced that is this armhole reduced so i would have actually stitched before cutting but no problem we can still cut it again so all i need to do is just place it together again like this then i would place the bodies on it again the way i did initially and you know cut it So just place it the way it was before so you can see the difference from here i need to still reduce it a bit 
okay so you see why i took three times what i took off because by the time i cut out the armhole this measurement here will reduce so now it is giving me like two times what i have which is still okay for my balloon and this side is okay so just go ahead and cut this out so this is all we have now so having done this now i'll go ahead and insert the elastic okay so for this side the measurement for my the measurement of my elastic is 10 inches that is the off shoulder okay while on this side it is the round arm measurement i cut out that is the round arm that is measurement for this side the elastic okay so i'll go ahead and pass my elastic through and this side as well so let me do just that So you can see what we have here. I'll just go ahead and adjust it well, okay? And this is our sleeve. So we'll go now and stitch it to our bodies. So now this is what we have. So we'll go ahead and stitch it to the bodies. And this is the armhole. This is how it's just going to be, okay? So we'll join it this way like this. I'll have a sleeve. So let me go ahead and join it and you see what have. So I'll do the same for the other side as well. So I'm done joining the sleeve. I can see what I have here. Okay. So now I want to add the lower part of it. Yes, the lower part. I have prepared my fabric for the lower part. So I'm going to make gathers. Okay. So I want to just make gathers here or pleats. So I'll just put it around the waist before adding the, the rope or the strap for joining, I mean for tying. So this very end, I reduced it by half inch. Remember, everything was uh, measured with the one inch seam allowance. So that made it, you know, to, that made it um so long over here. So you can see I reduced half inch. So that when I join the rope by half inch, we'll now be able to pass it through this piece here. Okay, so it will just go this way and it will sit nicely like this. And this one would also be at this point here. Then the rope will then go over. So that is the essence of reducing it. That is taking away that um, seam allowance. Okay, so I added initially. So I'm going to go ahead and pleat the lower part. Let me just go ahead and gather this around the waist. So I have thought how to make gathers on this channel. All I will do is just measure what I have here and cut out my fabric like three times what I have here or two times. So it depends on your size of your the size of your fabric. Okay, so if you want the gathers to be well formed, you need like three times of your measurement. Then if it's flay you want to add, you measure what you have here and go ahead and make your flay, okay? So let me just join it and see what we have. So I've joined the lower part, which is gathers, as you can see, okay? Yeah, and it's very long. So it's a maxi gown. It's very long. So now it's time to add the rope. Yeah, it's time to add the rope. So I have prepared my rope. So I just, you know, I didn't actually measure it. I just, I bought it um, knowing that I'll have to pass it through this space, okay? So your rope should be able to pass through this space. So what we'll do now, for this one that will be going through this side, you can just join it, okay? Good side facing each other from this edge here you just join it together 
I'll just hold it down with my pin. So I'll go ahead and stitch like this. And I'll have it going out from here. Okay. Yeah, I'll have it going this way. So this one will go this way. Then this other one, you can see, that's coming from here. Why on this side? I want to make it as neat as possible because this one is outside. Okay, it will be seen. So what I'll do is just split this side a little bit and push it into this one like this. Meanwhile, I'll first of all fold in this one because we'll be top stitching. So by the time I'm folded in a little bit, so you fold in like this, okay? Then I'll just split it a little bit from here, like this, so that I'll have it looking this way and would we'll insert it in. So whichever way you can actually achieve yours, just for it to be neat, you can go ahead and do that, okay? It doesn't have to be exactly this way, but this is just how I want it. So you can see what I have here. So by the time I top stitch, both from this side and the other side will have a neat work. So I'll just go ahead and top stitch it. So before then, let me hold it down with the pin. Okay, so you can see what we have. Then the inner part of my, um, the inner part, I will go ahead and use bias tape to finish it up. So this is actually chiffon fabric, but I added lining to it, okay? So I'll go ahead and finish it up with bias tape then. I would design the neckline the way I want. So whatever I want to use, I'll just do that. And you see the final look. So let me go ahead and stitch the rope and you see what we'll have at the end. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and give this video a like, okay? And also share with your friends. So let me just finish it up and see the final look.